Putting together these on the Capra wheels, the stock ones, I'll take it apart, show you how to do it. Putting the twill inserts in there. Pretty easy to do. These are the wheels come apart. They got little bolts here in the front, and then the sets that go around on the inside. And if you see the blue, that automatically locks into the place with the wheel, so it lines it up for the bolts. I just did two sets of them already. It turned out pretty good on the Baja Pros for the Capra. Start by taking apart this one real quick. Get my tire off since it's brand new. Bear with me. Give me a second, bub. centerpiece pop out the foam first things first to get the rim to fit just cut this once take and shove it back in the tire Okay, once that's all in there and centered up, turn your fingers around and line it up. Make sure it's in there. Next, take off the two little bolts on each side and then do the center cap, the one bolt holding on right, right in the front. on paper plate so you don't lose it all. Okay, get this one out of the way. Take the last two bolts off the back. back in see how that comes out of the ring and then so what's cool is those teeth they go right in 
So if you see that, let's see how they come out. You can go right back in and seal it up. All right, putting the centerpiece in. Tire over it. Find a little cut that you make. There it is in the bottom. Shove the rim in. All right, so it's in. Stretch it out. Center it all up. Make sure you don't have anything catching. Center the rim up on the inside, if you can see all that in there. Make sure it's centered all the way around. Okay, center it up. Make sure my tire's going the right way. Push the rim in, goes right in, peel the tire out a little bit around it to get to set in the bead. There's a little flat ring around the tire right there that you'll want to see. Okay, that's in. That's what it looks like when it's in. Let me do the top portion. Stretch out the rubber again. Okay. Dad, I'll just look at the tire. It's still touching it. Okay? It's my son's car. He's the one you hear in the background. Okay, so you can see how it starts to set back into the beadlock in there. Dad. Yes, bud. Just swing it right over. Yep. I'm just checking the ring around the tire right now, making sure it's all pulled out. That way the tire can compress, and it'll automatically sit down in those locks. Dad, that way there's only a little bit of a lip. Dad, look yeah. what happened to the wire. It came Is that off. the foam, bud? Yeah, it was wire. Pinch the front of the rim and the back of the rim so and get a screw in it. So was in the tire, now it, it was wire. If you don't pinch the rim in the front and the back, you're not going to get the screw in. Yeah, that was the foam insert in the factory one, bud. In the white one? No, in the original tire. Okay, I'm just working the other bolts in. Yeah, where did it go? And as you work your way around, you can see all the holes that are in there. You got to do them all. Dad, who are you, talk who are you talking to? Our friends on YouTube. Who's what? Which friends? Wait, Timmy? Nigel? Nope. Nigel? Nope. Timmy? Nope. Lexi? If you guys want to check out our other videos of my four-year-old driving his 4S Outcast and our 8S Outcast and our Traxxas trucks and whatnot, please do. It's greenerresultsllc.com. Hit the like button. Yeah. I'll show you both the cappers that we have with these two real tires on them i'm sorry rims we yeah. did some rock crawling today and the other day with them and the baja pros are super nice they crawl yeah. just about anything yeah and my dad has a new rock crawler yes i do you want to go get it for me it's yeah. in the garage yeah I'm gonna do it. all right thank you bud okay i'm almost done here Man, that's a, a bad bolt. It's not even the right size. That's odd. 
I wonder it wasn't going in the screwdriver. Okay, I'm just going around and tightening them all. I got two more holes to fill. And then I'll put the wheel spacer right back on. And I went with these just because of the look of them and the name brand. And I have the brass inserts on the front and the back for the portal gears. Hey, I'm going on 10 minutes of tire. That's not very bad. I'll tell you what, the factories were a pain in the butt. So now as you go around, you'll find certain ones loose as you're starting to tighten the rim down. Dad. You don't want to over tighten it. Just keep Dad, jumping foam, from one side to the Dad, next. The foam was wide. Keep tightening it down to a point where it won't Daddy. go anymore. Daddy. And make sure to check your line around there. Daddy. Yeah, bub. The foam was white, but now it turned No, I have the white ones too. Those were from the Proline wheels. They're in the bags. And these are the Proline Baja Ball. Baja Out. I'm sorry. Baja Pro. We used to off-road with the Super Swampers and the TSL XS. Those were pretty decent. Kind of like the Baja Claw, but apparently those ones don't do too good for the rocks. We're down here in Virginia. We got a bunch of limestone and granite. And moss and sand and clay and this thing powered right up some stuff today that I was not expecting it to okay about done let me just double check and get one or two here that are loose it's just got to keep checking them as you go around okay that's done that's good that's good Put that one a little loose all right All right, good, 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 good. All right, take the little wheel insert. Set it back in there like that. It's magnetized, which is sweet. It's not super magnetic. Take one screw. Dad, can we try the gen base? That's what I was running today. Okay, let me set this back on there. Dad, who gave us this? I bought it for the FMS H1 Hummer that we have. What can I see? My son's four years old and he's pretty curious. Dad, can we try the Hummer? Yeah, but let me throw these extra. I got five bolts here and then I can... Get the Hummer? Possibly. I don't think that, no, that big one won't fit in the Hummer, dude. We need that tiny one that we got the 2S battery. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm on the last here's set of bolts here. Yeah, here's the 2S. Dad, when you're done, can you give me the Hummer for me? Yeah. I want to try it. Okay, I'm on the last three. This only took 13 minutes, which isn't bad. The factory ones I struggled with for probably 20 minutes. Dad, trying to shove these wider want... tires on. These actually went pretty smoothly, I'm surprised. Oh. I only have one more to go after this, and I'll put them back on my truck. But I already have a set on my other truck right now that I just picked up. Daddy? From I Am RC Hobby in Manassas, Virginia. Go talk to Rohan if you want some of these. Daddy? We got them for $28.98. Daddy? double done, set of wheels. Can you give me the armor? Okay. Finished. Here you go. All set up. In line, in order, ready to rock and roll. Um, Dad, where's the other ones? There's the black ones that I have on the Capra with the Desert Lizard shocks. And we Dad, also have the brass inserts on the front and the back for the portal covers. The only thing I'm waiting on now is the Axial SCX long link suspension setup for this thing, but pretty sweet looking. I got the droop set up going on this one. All right, thanks y'all for watching. Appreciate it.